Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you another tutorial. Um, this time I'm going to try to figure out how we can um, key trigger our patterns. And uh, this came from a request from Hydlide when I was talking with him and he was saying he would just love to be able to trigger the matrix patterns without any delay, without any problems. Well, you can't really do it with the matrix. The matrix is a huge pain in the butt and it's not easy to work with when you're trying to trigger your patterns of the matrix using your keys or your keyboard controls. So um, in order to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two different ways you can do it using the matrix and then I will move on and in a few other videos show you how you can do it better using the Thor step sequencer. So to start off, here's the two different methods you can use using the matrix. First thing we're going to do is create a combinator. Underneath the combinator, we are going to create a 6-2 mixer. Under that, we're going to create a, let's see, let's create a subtractor. And then under that, we're going to create, uh, what are we going to create? We're going to create a matrix. And we're also going to create a Thor. OK. so way this method works, let's turn it around. These are going into the gates, which is fine and dandy. We're going to have um, one CV from the CV1 modulation output going into rotary 1. And we're going to turn this all the way up. Or actually, no, we're going to keep it at 64. Uh, this should be all we need to do. We're going to open up the programmer. We're going to take the subtractor. We're going to turn off the receive notes on the subtractor. On the Thor, we're going to go all the way over here and we're going to have the key of C negative 2, C minus 2, um, triggering the actual pattern. And what this uh, matrix is going to do is when it's triggered by the rotary, we're going to um, pattern enable it. So that means um, the rotary won't really be used for anything, so we can delete that. Uh, let's see. Let's also delete the other labels because we don't need these. Okay. In the Thor, we're going to come down here and we're going to initialize the Thor. I actually have a patch that I'm going to use, which if I can find it, uh, okay. So this initializes the Thor on the source. We're going to say um, we're going to say MIDI key gate. It's going to be a hundred, and it, the destination is going to be the CV output one. So this means that when we press the key of C two, and we have this playing, actually we're going to put a pattern in here first. Let's do that. Let's just randomize a pattern. Okay, so now when we play C2, when we press play, it's playing right now. So what we want to do is disable the pattern. Okay, so the pattern starts disabled. And then when we press, um, when we press play, and then we press C2 over here, the pattern turns on. And when we let go, it turns off. But you'll notice that there's a delay. So when we hit this, when we hit the A key, it has to finish the bar before it um, starts and it also has to it has to finish the bar before it starts and it has to finish the bar before it ends so this is not the best method to do things but you can set it up this way in order to trigger your keys so now I'm going to show you method two to trigger your patterns and that is what we're going to do is we're going to open up the Thor uh, we're going to go into our programmer here. We're going to turn off the pattern enable. Uh, we are going to go back to the Thor. Let's take out the CVs here. Let's take out the CV1. We're not going to do it that way. We're going to take your note CV and we're going to put it into CV input 1. And the gate is going to go to CV input 2. Then CV input 1 is going to go back into the CV of the subtractor and the gate is going to go into CV2. On the Thor um, step sequencer in the modulation routing, you're going to, you're going to um, select uh, 
CV input 1 is going to go to CV out 1 and CV input 2 is going to go out to CV input 2 or CV output 2 and the amount is going to be scaled by you guessed it the MIDI key gate okay so with this kind of a setup what's going to happen you can enable the patterns you can still have them running you're not going to hear anything but when you press down on that A key as soon as you press down you're going to hear it at whatever point the pattern's playing and when you let go it's going to let go whenever you immediately let go so it's it's immediate is what I'm trying to get at the only problem is that it it only it'll start wherever you press down wherever it is in the sequence it's going to play from that point onward so it's not going to start at the beginning or end at the beginning it's only going to start um, at wherever whatever point it's in while it's running so that's the limitation on that type of um, setup but with this setup what you can do is you can select as many as you want in terms of as many devices you can copy them you select them all here and then you can duplicate them spin it around take the subtractor into another mixer channel and on this you can create up to six but on others you can create more than that and then all you have to do is go into your um, Thor over here move this up one key whoops it's two keys move that up one key move this all the way down so that you can create a bunch of keys for as many keys on your keyboard that you have and you can create as many devices and it'll um, basically play those different devices so let's just put in a little something here I don't know exactly how this is gonna sound but we'll just do something a little different so now um, if we go into this matrix we'll do a different pattern We'll randomize that now you've got two different patterns playing and they're both controlled by your keys so when you press the a key it's only going to play the first uh, subtractor when you press the W key or the um, C sharp minus 2 key it'll um, play the other device uh, of course and the other nice thing is you can play both of them together so that's how you key trigger your patterns for the matrix um, not the best course of action because there's there's much better ways to do this and I'm gonna get into doing it with the Thor step sequencer in another tutorial but for right now this is just two different ways that you can use your matrix in order to trigger your patterns and like I said you can duplicate this and create as many devices as you want um, along your keyboard um, so that's pretty much all there is to this tutorial um, come back and visit me at reason101.net where I will make these patches available once the complete tutorial is done and um, I will also uh, show you some other tricks and tips Thanks for watching.